Hi, today I would like to demonstrate how mind mapping and modeling can go hand in hand to help you, for example, with business decisions. Mind mapping summarizes the situation, modeling shows the potential risks and possible measures. Our example is a very small one. Some managers are discussing how to make more profit. The first proposal is to lower the price to get more customers. That, of course, would lower the margin of the product. But it would also foster marketing. Another proposal is to provide further innovations to foster marketing even more. But innovations would also bring some problems to quality. Nevertheless, quality is said to be of minor influence. On the other hand, marketing triggers a word-of-mouth effect automatically leading to more and more customers. So obviously there are three alternatives to choose from and with all options they would also get some disadvantages. Putting the situation into a mind map is quite easy. Here's an image of a mind map using the leading software Mind Manager from Mindchat. It simply shows the content that was said in the business conversation. Quite similar looks a mind map within the software FreeMind. You can add colors, hyperlinks and notes and you can fold and unfold branches of your mind map to show or hide details. The Considium Modeler 2 is a tool for visual thinking, allowing to analyze the consequences of arguments. To spare a lot of time you can import existing mind maps with colors, notes, hyperlinks etc. Folded branches become subsystems within the modeler. The model after the import isn't right away appealing, but in most cases it needs some revision anyway, as you don't want to visualize content but arguments. To form an argument you draw an arrow. With double click you can change its properties to define whether it has a positive or negative impact. For qualitative modeling you can weight the impact with weak, middle, strong or any percentage value. You may also add information and links to factors and connections. As a qualitative model you can look for feedback loops, for example the reinforcing one of the word of mouth effect. You can also show cause and use trees showing different ways and values on one factor can affect another. And both. The sum of effects of different ways and the change of effects over time due to feedback loops can be shown through the impact matrix. On the x-axis you see the short-term impact and on the y-axis the long-term change of this impact. In this example the improvement of quality has little short-term but increasing long-term impact and innovations have the highest but slightly decreasing impact on more profit. So, Qualitative modeling means after visualization and quick weighting of connections, you can already tell what the most promising measures and the hidden risks are. This very easy way of qualitative modeling is a new culture of thinking, working and communication to cope with our daily complexity. If you have time and data, you can even quantify your model. Data can come from different sources like Excel, SQL, CSV, etc. You can then compare scenarios in different management cockpits proving for example that after several months an investment into quality should outperform the lowering of prices. So indeed mind maps are common to summarize content and models are the follow up to gain insights to identify the most promising measures. Have fun using both. For more, please visit www.concedio.com.